77 is when this thing was parked in there and now it's going to get a new home 1957 pretty solid bug ovale now all you uh commenters out there this is 700 kilos this is 3,000 kilos so usually Usually you back it up and put it the other way around, but this is going to be so minor of a weight on here I'm not really that worried about it and I'll go nice and slow on the way home. Anyway, so this is it Got it to get to the house so I'm gonna take it nice and easy but old girl strapped to the back right there and head to the house all right do a little quick video from Roger's hot rod garage obviously the 55 nomad LS3 project with a big giant hanger on it got my stuff hooked up back here and I'm pulling the long awaited 1957 all original been sitting in one spot since 1977 first time this thing has seen daylight in a long long time got it all strapped down all right first stop here for the 57 oval window bug but i'm gonna put a little water on it get a little soap on it and get some of this crud blowed off it before i do that though check this out this is a newspaper from 1961 and i gotta catch up on some current events right here here's another one and I found another one back here right here. So again, do a little uh, reading when I get home with a cup of coffee. because the weight of the trailer is so heavy and I've got plenty of tongue weight I don't think I have to worry about that thing slinging back and forth but anyway I'm taking it slow I'm hitting like 35 45 miles an hour I ain't in no hurry I just want to get this thing to the house right now and then unload it and put it in the garage check this out one sad looking little 57 bug but I drove one of these things in high school in 1968 I remember back then my sister actually had one with the larger lights right here and the ones the 68 was a little bit larger again this is 57 and also this hood right here that's the elongated one why is it 45 years later I think this is like the coolest thing on earth and back when I was like 
16, 17 years old in North Carolina driving this thing back and forth to school or a 68, I said, man, I wish I had the, you know, like the 81 or the 82. But anyway, I've got it now. But check this out. All of these right here are missing. I'm sure I can probably get them, but back up on that thought. After I went here the first time, opened up this. Check out this cool little adjuster right here. That's pretty badass. And then I closed this and look what I found back here. I found all of these string pieces and there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think so. Yeah, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I'm complete right now. So anyway, I went ahead and cleaned the windows today. Uh, put this door back in or this window back in that was busted a little bit. But check this out. You got your little Wolfsburg right here. And then uh, I think it is in doggone original condition. No rust in the floors. I do have a spot on the other side that I've got to take care of. And I got this little bitty spot right here. But I'm just so stoked that this thing is so doggone original. And anyway, check this out. So I got that in here. I'll have to find these things or, I don't know, if somebody can help me out in the comments and tell me where I can find these at. And then the only other thing is I went ahead and put a little bit of a polish on here, so that mother's. It actually worked out pretty good right here, but I don't know. Check out the color. The original color is actually this gold looking green thing. And I actually kind of like that. So maybe this car is going to go back to that original color. And that's basically it. All right, what do we got up here? Here's some ducks flying around. Anyway, so take here from Roger's Hot Rod Garage. It's a Sunday evening, unfortunately. I gotta head back to work tomorrow morning, so take care, thanks for watching.